guys, welcome back to this channel. You are watching English Turks, where we where I discuss different Turkish series that we like to watch that have English subtitles and non-English subtitles. So if you watch any of the series that you see um, in any of the videos, definitely subscribe to this channel because I will be giving reviews and literally let's just get in. I am reviewing Benin Tatlim and guys, I just, oh my God gosh talk about the ending of this episode like i was just hit with a ton of bricks i oh <laughs> okay so you guys are not seeing my face in this video um because i watched it like i just finished watching it it's not the time or the hour for me to be putting myself on camera so i figured i'd do a voice recording and just uh, do a slideshow of pictures. So um, if you like it this way, let me know in the comments below. But if you like to see my face when I give these reactions, then definitely let me know in the comments below. And you will be seeing this sugar honey punny five face sooner or later. Um, but anyway, let's just get in. OMG, this episode was too good. It was too good. Number one, I got to give credit to the writers. I always like to give credit where credit is due. And the writers really did a good job with this episode. I mean, this episode was in. Sometimes you have a two-hour episode, an hour episode of just foolishness. But this one, it really took you through a series of events. And the ending for this episode was a killer. I love it. I love it. So we start off the episode, you know, they're all into each other. Suna and Nejat, they're just all into each other right now. And then Neja is hit with the divorce. Now, I've never been through a divorce, but the way they wrote it into the script, it was really convincing that he would be heartbroken. Because when you think about it, this woman just up and left him in the middle of a park, left her baby in a swing, and just up and gone. Like, just up and left. So the next time you hear from this woman is, I want a divorce. Now... I remember, like, when he was initially, like, in the first episode, I think, when he was really looking for her so that he can bring her to Kyra, I remember he was, um, he was saying, like, somebody said, like, they seen her with another kid or whatever, so, I mean, the ending of this episode, so many knockers were in, uh, the fact that, uh, she was in the hospital, and she did lose the baby that she had in her stomach. Um, I don't know. I don't know if when they were referring to her that they were in the they got the um, translations mixed up because I just clearly remember somebody saying that they saw the real Eileen with a baby, with a kid, but maybe they meant to say she was pregnant. And now that she's lost this kid. You, we already know where this is going, guys. She is going after custody of Kyra, even though she could care less about Kyra in the beginning, which I think is wrong. You know, I'm all about giving people second chances, but if that baby in her belly didn't die, Eileen would not have been looking for Kyra. So definitely, I feel like she has no right to Kyra, even in this situation where she's no longer going to have kids. And Kyra is either her second only or her only child left. Uh, left to her in this world um but i love seeing how nejat was grieving suna was definitely an amazing supporter they wrote in her character to just give so much good support to nejat and i i love that um i think it just worked out so so well so well um and uh buju and Buju's love story, I, I don't know how to say her name, guys. It's so funny. Buju, 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 I don't know. Buju, I hope that's the right way. I'm not going to stick to that. But her love, I love how she said, oh, I love you. Ooh. I was just like, ooh, go girl. Um, but you could tell they've been kind of into each other. And he doesn't know how to really, you know, relay this. And accept that there's something different, but he definitely treats Buju as she's important. And now she said, but I love you. I was like, oh, go girl. Anyway, so um, 
despite all the sadness in this episode and the negativity, it was a really exciting and happy video. I was just, I love um, just seeing all the love connections, um, Suna's dad and mom reconnecting. I felt that in my heartstrings. I don't know about you guys, but when they were holding hands, I felt that in my heartstrings. Like, at first I was like, um, mom needs to, to get out of the picture again. But now understanding her story more and more and seeing that she's also having like really difficult health, health issues. Um, I think she has like breast cancer or something. Um, I'm, I'm really rooting for them. I don't know how that story is going to play out. But you know what? I'm really glad that Kaida went to that house and opened her mouth and um, soon as dad found out. Now, some people may not agree, but there, there needed to be a break. Her and Nejat want to be together, but they, they were, they're both right. Everyone's right. It's not going to happen as long as she's pretending to be Eileen. And uh, I love Heidi's face. Hi, Heidi. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm horrible with the names. That's why I try not to pronounce them. But I love how uh, he's like, what? She's going to get proposed to? Oh my gosh, not going to happen today. But if he walks into that house in the next episode, I'll just be I'll just be cracking up. That that would just be heaven sent. Oh my gosh. But So now Nejat's pissed off. He doesn't know that she's really in a situation. But being that he's still legally her husband, he might just step in and try to... Um, try to situate you know deal with that situation but we definitely know that a custody battle is coming in place and I pray to God that she does not get custody I really pray to God that she doesn't get custody because you left this baby in a swing with a note and disappeared for the last five years you don't deserve that little girl absolutely not so I pray to God that she does not Depending on how they write the story, she come back with a really good reason, which I find there's no good reason, but it better be really good because right now, Neja and Suna's dad are basically in the same freaking situation. So, um, I, yeah, so I know we're going to have to deal with the custody battle coming up pretty soon. Um, and, uh, and I'm actually feeling good for Toga and his little situation going on. Uh, luckily, he stopped her from going and telling Suna's dad the whole situation and everything. So, I mean, there were so many good parts of this entire episode, but the kickers were very much so at the end. I love how they, they did just grow with each other and have such a good relationship. I can't wait to see the next episode because I think this was the kicker. This was the lining. And so I think because this was the lining, we only have a few more before they say we got to wait till season two. Gosh, guys, I hate those breaks for season two. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign out on this video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you have any comments that you want to share, because I, I love going back and forth and bantering. And I love, like hearing what other people have to say about their thoughts and things that stood out to them that probably I didn't notice or I didn't notice and I didn't have a chance to talk about in this review. So definitely leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. I will be watching Hearsay Yen and um, I'll be putting a review up for that probably tomorrow. So until next time, bye. Guys, welcome back.